Well, from the marvelous Mrs. Maisel to Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, Emily Burgle has made her mark on screen and stage. Now you have just two more weeks to catch her incredible work in the acclaimed play Goodnight Oscar opposite Sean Hayes. And Emily is with me now. Welcome. I'm so happy to Thank have you, you here. Wait, is there only really only two more weeks? I haven't I, done in the, ma the oh math in my gosh. head because I'm so sad about it ending. I'm so sad about it ending. I was just, I was, I mean, this is going to be a gushing interview because I, you are so amazing in this. This show is incredible. I just saw it and I was blown away. So you've been part of this since the premiere in Chicago. How does it feel to be kind of saying goodbye, to be approaching the end? We're not there yet, but... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to just have to hijack for a couple seconds. Before I talk about the show, I'm a huge fan. You are a New York icon. <laughs> I love you. I had a boyfriend, and you were like his past. He was like, well, if I ever like meet Sarah Gore, and I was like, Abs oh my God. absolutely, I get it. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm turning red. I agree. So I just want to say this is really exciting. I watch oh. Open House. I just, oh, my God. You know, I'm, I've been living in New York since 97. And I just like the, like the the real New Yorkers. Those are the celebrities to me. Oh my God, I love you for that. And I am the the, the I. I feel the same way about you. I am such a fan of yours. You are incredible. And so now we got that out of the way. Yes. So <laughs> Chicago, right? Yes, yeah, so Chicago. So you've been with the show since it premiered in Chicago. How yes. do you feel that this is kind of coming to an end now? I can't. I I can't wrap my mind around it because it's one of those shows that. The, it, one of those shows that just everyone can, can hook into yeah. at the end, the audience, they are so moved. Just so to, be, moved. to be part of something like that is really special. And also to be live. I mean, you understand that. Yeah. That energy. I don't know what I'm going to do without it. And also oh, seeing wow. our cast. We all just hang out together during the show. I mean, we actually just come to my dressing room and have a little party and every I, night. I was going to say, like, what is it like backstage? Because, you know, it's such an intense show and it's everyone's pretty serious. And even though there's comedy in it, too, yeah. it's still a very serious kind of heavy show. So backstage, is everyone in character or are you like joking and then you go on stage and get into character immediately? Oh, yeah, we are joking. I mean, actually, um, <laughs> Uh, I was joking with one of our stagehands, John, last night. I was just about to run in and be really dramatic, and we tried to both make a basket, like right when Sean plays the final note of this piano. Yeah. And it just Because the thing is, people think about us getting into character, but especially in the theater, we've already done that work. Yeah, yeah. So to be honest with you, yeah. we're, we, we save it for the stage, and backstage, we just have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. Do you remember the moment that you saw him turn into Oscar Levant, Sean? Because he is... He dis disappears in this in this character. I will never forget um, when we when I read the play with Sean for the first time in Chicago. There's a part in the play where he's trying to kind of seduce my character again, and we were just we're just reading the play at a table, and I remember he just turns to me and looks at me with these blue eyes of his, and I just remember thinking, I would do anything this man told me to right now. He is so powerful. Yeah. He just taps into this life force and energy of this character that is stunning to see. Yeah. You know what else is stunning to see? You in this dress. Um, how, we need to have a moment for this dress because yeah. this dress is incredible. I heard that you said someplace that it does half the work for you. It really does. But I think and the girdle is, does the other half. Yeah, the other half. But I feel like wardrobe is transformative. So when you first put that dress on, were you like, now I am June? Yes, it's really interesting because our costume designer, he's such a genius. When I, when I first saw that it's got this, uh, co this coat and a dress, the, um, the other night one of the audience members said, oh my gosh, Emily, it, the dress, it's all about the dress. And one of the audience members said, um, no, 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 Emily, it's not just about the dress. It's about the coat. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, I think it's about Emily, really. But I'm telling you, this dress is iconic. Our, our costume designer, people talk about it every single night. It's yeah. one of those things that just you put, it's that final layer and you yes. just become this person. Absolutely. I hope you take that with you. I hope at some point this comes back in some other reincarnation Me because too. I would love for more people to be able to see you in this. She is incredible. You can catch Goodnight Oscar now through August 27th at the Belasco Theater. The whole cast really is incredible. Thank you so much for stopping by. It was truly my pleasure to I be here today. I love you. We, we got to do this again. Yeah.